Well, hello everybody. Welcome back here on uh, Sunday morning. I had a request. They wanted to hear some dobro picking, dobro playing. So I got my dobro out, which as I've said before, is tuned the same way as my lap steel. This one's in an open E. I've got another black dobro that's a little smaller than this one tuned in an open D for the low down. <laughs> bluesy style. Okay, but this in here is in an E, so it's a higher pitch, but same fret, and same notes as the lap steel, just a different sound because it's a resonator. I like to use it on recording with my uh, when I'm playing my acoustic guitar and the banjo. It's a great instrument, but it's a tune in an open E like this. E, I put the tune down there. E, B, E, G sharp, B, and E. And we'll start off playing something in the open E. We can hit the uh, two top strings for a rhythm.
problem. I uh, know it ain't much of a lesson because I didn't tell you what I'm doing, but... Right there, I'm just hitting that uh, fifth string open and closing it on the second fret. And then I'm going over and hitting the... Uh, Fourth string, so the fourth and fifth string, the fourth, fifth string first. Now the fourth string, and then right here at the fourth fret. Then the second fret, fourth string. That's needed. tune we do and all but anyway I hope that whoever it was that did the request for the dope bow enjoyed it and and like I said I'm putting the bar into a lot of movements like
there you go. And that's how the old Dobro sounds. It's a, uh, let's see what the brand is uh, on there if I can read it. It is a uh, Flint Hill Dobro. I don't know if you can see that. Light may not be right, but anyway, that's the name of it, Flint Hill. Beautiful Dobro, uh, uh, tobacco bust, uh, square neck Dobro. Got a beautiful back on it. I traded it to a gentleman at uh, over in Albany. He come over here. I traded him one of my acoustic guitars. I forgot which one it was, but anyway, I swapped him an acoustic guitar part. And uh, I've really enjoyed the Dobro and playing it out. It's great in the recording studio. That's the main reason I bought it was whenever I started recording Dobro, the other Dobro has got a small body and a darker sound. And this one right here, as you heard, has got that good resonating crisp sound. All right. I hope each and every one of y'all have a great week out there. And... Uh, by golly, we've been getting little showers on and off in hot weather, and, and the showers brings the steam up and the humidity, and that makes the gnats get mad. And down here in South Georgia, we have gnats that, that try to eat you alive, and them little boogers are getting your eyes, your ears, and your nose, and you have to kind of keep moving. Now, you can put some of that uh, off mosquito spray on you, and they don't light on you, but they still gonna buzz you but, and all, but that the mosquito spray is just about as aggravating to have on you as a gnats to me, cause it's gooey and sticky. Anyway, so have yourself a great week out there, people. Get out there and make some music, play something good, have some fun, and I don't, I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe up, and welcome to uh, everybody that joined our Facebook group. We had uh, six new members this morning already. We've having five to six a day join. It's called uh, Lap Steel Guitars on Facebook. And that's one of my sites. I got another site called Country Colors on Facebook. And that's where I post most of the playing when we go out and do shows with the band and whatever. But we hadn't done none in a while. That coronavirus, when it comes to it, never about killed all the music down here in South Georgia because a lot of the musicians actually passed away. Anyway, I hope y'all have a great day and come back to see me. Remember, we do a show every Wednesday and every Sunday.